Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com and it's the day after the big storm. We just had a hurricane come through here, although it didn't hit where I live directly, but we had some pretty intense weather. So I thought I'd go around the garden and see, uh, <laughs> see what happened. I was out here yesterday morning as the storm was revving up, uh, reinforcing a few things, and it's a good thing I did. But anyway, let's go have a look around. All right, well, the first thing, the thing I noticed yesterday was that these uh, Swiss chard were just getting trashed. You can see how some of them are broken. Like that, right? I mean, I came out yesterday in the rain and harvested a bunch of these because I knew they were getting wrecked anyway. And we had Swiss chard with uh, with lunch yesterday. But definitely the Swiss chard got uh, thrashed around pretty good. Looks like Mr. Salt got uh, knocked off his little perch there. Uh, these beans yesterday morning were were basically done. You can see how the posts have been pulled out, pulled out of its spot there. But I came out here and I was tying like a rake <laughs> and tied a shovel on over there. Like this was really coming loose. It had torn itself free and I reinforced it. Now, I mean, the beans are pretty much done and I didn't really care, but I didn't want the, uh, the mesh getting all bent out of shape and wrecked, right? Uh, so yeah, that that was gonna come loose. That was coming loose and I, I tied it back on basically and reinforced it because it was done. The tomatoes, you can see the cages are tipped over a little bit. Those got it pretty bad. Not too bad, but you know, it could have been worse. I noticed the peppers here, the plants got tipped over a little bit, but they're still alive, still growing, that's good. Uh, over here, my bean my bean walls <laughs> those got knocked down i mean they, they held up pretty good but they got knocked down i'll have to tie those back on with a little bit of rope um but not bad you know it could have been a lot worse right? that could have flown and hit the house uh, all the trees and bushes and everything they, they seem to be doing okay and they, they were fine right got some <laughs> um sun choke plant got knocked over i didn't notice any of my big trees coming down although there are lots of trees down in the neighborhood that's for sure Whoop. <laughs> lots of fresh water in the pond that's for sure uh, cloudy and muddy as always whenever there's a good rain I get a fresh dose of muddy water in the pond <laughs> but uh, you know the fish don't the fish don't seem to mind the frogs don't seem to mind at all there's a fish right there hiding you can see him right down in there Just taking it easy in the grass. Just to prove that there are fish in here, I guess should do a video of the fish. I keep meaning to, and I keep putting it off. Uh, the fish are doing fine. <laughs> anyway, that's the state of the garden. Just a quick, uh, quick walk around. You know, took a bit of damage, but you know, we really didn't get the storm too bad here where I live compared to other parts of the province. Uh, I had some pretty high winds. My my wife and I took a walk yesterday uh, when the rain uh, quit and pretty intense winds but uh other than that and a lot of, you know a lot of trees down and stuff like that but uh we you know it's just the usual routine around here this time of year hurricane season you know you have to come home and put everything away and tie everything down and move everything uh so anything that can catch wind and pick up and fly you gotta bring it inside or you know stick it somewhere where the wind can't grab it but everything's all right just for people that were concerned I hope you found it. Is this interesting? If you did, please like, share, subscribe. Until next time, get out there, get at it. Have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.